to um, a very different looking breakfast television than you just saw moments ago. I am so happy to have you. Our former mayor, David Miller, you look fantastic. Benjamin Button, I have not stopped. <laughs> you look, you are reverse aging. I, um, well, thank you, but you look fabulous. Oh, and look you. at that sweater. Thank you for look giving at that me this. Sweater. Do not adjust your set. <laughs> <laughs> we are wearing these for good reason today. You are lending your voice to a very important cause. Today is National Sweater Day. And you, of course, are a huge supporter in working with WWF on this. How come? Uh, well, it's something, first of all, to have fun. Yeah. You know, um, it's middle of the winter. Let's have a bit of fun. And that's why we're wearing kooky sweaters. But it's also <laughs> about a serious issue. You know, climate change is a huge threat to our environment. And one of the ways we can reduce our impact on the planet is quite simple. It's turn down the heat. So the idea today is turn down the heat, wear a sweater. Um, and then maybe you'll start doing that more in future. It's so true. It's the little steps we take. A lot of times we feel it's too big a problem. It's too daunting. What can my little, you know, two temperature, two degrees down a day do? It really has a huge impact. We see during, you know, the ice storm power went out for many of us. That's when we realize what we take for granted every single day. So by, you know, lowering, even in the morning when you're not really up and about yet, you're in your bed, your, your thermostat, I mean, you, you really, it saves. Well, most of, us aren't well. Up, most of us aren't up and about Before. as early as you are, but yeah. uh, I, I, it's, that's very true. And, and there's a good example from Sweater Day. Procter & Gamble, um, one of our supporters, uh, turned down their power and they found they saved 11%. And the money you save, as well as the energy and that's greenhouse right. gas reductions, uh, is, is huge. So we're also having some fun with it. We're asking people to tweet a selfie. Yeah. Uh, if you do it to hashtag Sweater Day. Rock uh, the ugly sweater. Rock the ugly sweater. Let us know how you look. <laughs> and uh, if, if you tweet it, we're creating a virtual sweater and you'll put a stitch in it. Okay, so, so. Where, how do we, where do we tweet that sweater, the virtual sweater? So hashtag Sweater Day. And if you want to go to www www.sweaterday.ca. Uh, it'll tell you all about it. Okay. Um, and uh, we know people have fun with this. You know, our big supporter is Loblaw Companies Limited. They've they've really supported mm -hmm. this effort. But it also, in a fun way, reminds people that we can take action. That's right. You know, people are worried about the environment, and they always say to me, "What can I do?" Well, here's one thing you can do: conserve energy, turn down the heat. Um, you know, and, tr and try to use energy efficient things like public transit. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in a great location here mm -hmm. to take public and transit. And walk when you can. And like you said, you're saving yourself a lot of money when it comes to heating your home. And as well, you are helping the environment. It's the small steps. So, step, so rock your sweater today. The bigger, the uglier, the better. Now, I have to ask you. You know, I have of to ask you. Of course, you have to ask me. What do you think about the circus that is uh, City Hall these days? I, well, and I have to say, uh, <laughs> you know, I just I don't weigh in. But one thing I can comment on, because I have, is public transit. Mm -hmm. um, the Shepherd LRT was under construction when I left as mayor. And had it not been stopped, it would be running by now. In fact, it would have been running since last December. The Finch LRT was about to start and would have been running probably in August this year. Touché. So as the debate happens this year, people should remember there were actual real shovels in the ground building rapid transit, which is what the city needs. Before it came to a halt. Yes. What do you think the public or worldwide perception is of our city right now? Does it sadden you? Um, well, our city uh, had a fabulous reputation for us, mm -hmm. and one of the things I'm trying to do in my new capacity at WWF Canada is work with people and businesses to show that Canada in general can do great things on the environment, yeah. and we can also have fun. Like, look, we got you Come to on, wear you this me? sweater. I feel Isn't bad that taking it off now. I really want to show my support all day, but I really am sweating, and that's the whole point. We don't need it to be quite so warm in here because we've got our sweaters on. Exactly. There you go. For more information, at I am David Miller. I know your people have been tweeting you already, saying, you're on me, T. We'll see you there. We'll be the ones sweating on the couch. Right now, over to Jen, who's thinking warm thoughts. Good morning, Jen. Oh, and hashtag sweater day, everybody, to get involved. Sweaterday.ca to do the virtual uh, sweater time in knit in real time. Time rather. So, sweaterday.ca, hashtag sweaterday. Join the movement. Thank you so much. Come thanks, back anytime. Thanks and a lot. thanks for the sweater. Cheers. <laughs> Over to you, Jen.